Well, Carlin, Rick Santorum wins two primaries closely in the South. Surprise or no surprise? No surprise. The patterns that we saw last night are exactly the patterns we've seen in many of the earlier contests. Santorum does better with rural voters, with evangelical voters, with strong conservatives, with supporters of the Tea Party. Romney looks the opposite on many of those overall, but the pattern was very much the same last night. So he wins these two states while he loses other states because there's more of those voters in these states. That's right. This was the Old South, and uh, in fact, it's not surprising that the Old South is more conservative. Yeah. Now, one of the things I found interesting was that the distinction between metro and rural, which has been coming up in all the primaries, came up again. Yeah, you've been following that very closely. Tell our audience. Romney uh, wins metropolitan areas, and he loses areas that are small towns and rural areas. And in Alabama, he won Birmingham, he won Mobile, and lost everything else. In Mississippi, he won Biloxi, he won Metro Jackson, and he won the two counties in rural areas that, when you look closely, are the homes to Old Miss and Mississippi State. This is a pattern that's hurt him in the primaries, but it's going to be a plus in the general. Yeah, because the America lives in suburbs and major metropolitan areas. If Romney's appeal to Republicans in those areas translates into appeal to independents in those areas, that promises to do very well for him in the general election against uh, Obama. And I think there's some evidence in the national polls that uh, Romney is, in fact, doing well with independents, uh, the voters you just discussed. What comes next? Well, next is Puerto Rico, which uh, traditionally goes with the candidate who is endorsed by the governor. The governor has endorsed Romney. Uh, the expectation is that Santorum, despite his Catholicism on a Spanish Catholic island, uh, is not going to get any delegates here. But how do you see Illinois coming out? That's the next real contested primary. I think Illinois is going to be quite close. Um, we've seen a few polls suggesting that Romney has a small lead. Um, his advisors think that that lead will grow as we get closer to the date on the primary date next Tuesday. Um, but I think he may have some problems in Illinois. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, the poll that Chicago Tribune had showed Romney with the four-point lead. All the same patterns that have been popping up everywhere else popping up here. Santorum leading downstate, uh, Romney leading in the Chicago metropolitan area. But one thing is uh, the Chicago metropolitan area costs a lot of money, and Romney doesn't have enough money to blanket the Chicago media market the way he blanketed Cincinnati, Cleveland, and other smaller media markets. And one final point, he outspent Santorum and Gingrich in Alabama and Mississippi by some say two to one, three to one with the super PAC and his own campaign spending, yet he still lost. And he can't do that in Illinois.